progress camouflages two other, three other ex extreme tensions in the world. The first is the progress has resulted in the fastest rate of extinction of species and fauna. This is not comets or something happening in the sun. This is human beings that have now created the fastest rate of extinction of plants and animals in millions of years. This is human beings, tech enabled, by the way, a whole spectrum of technology that has allowed us to live beyond our means and essentially subjugate the rest of the world, both people, flora and fauna. That's the first thing. That's science. It's not some tech fantasy of big data, but the big data will tell you what's happened. Second, climate change. I don't need to tell more. Human enable, tech enable our ability now to extract and use relentless amounts of fossil fuels. Of course, we like to think that we'll have a tech solution to uh, the fossil fuels uh, problem of uh, replacing that with renewables. But we do not confront the idea that even renewables, when generating enough, will have limitations. But let's assume technologically we are able, able to. But it doesn't get rid of our addiction to more energy. When we have more energy, what do we do? We extract more. So even renewable energy essentially keeps us on a path of doing more, wanting more, extracting more, and destroying more things. So that's climate. And the third part, which is what I want to talk about in the assault, is essentially the attack on cultures and traditions. And I consider even extreme abhorrent ideology like ISIS as an extreme reaction to essentially the assault of Western modernity. So it's, ex it's abhorrent, but it's an extreme reaction to this. The assault of your ideas, you think are better, and you have created. So then you get um, a mutant ideas of ISIS, etc. But that resentment is widespread around the world. It has not manifested itself in violence, not yet. So these are tensions that are not understood in the Western world because it's in denial about how the world operates. We need to be very careful. The last part of that, I would argue, is as, this, as technology essentially subjugates a whole new generation of people for the developing world because of this temptation and its seductive power, we are losing in the blink of an eye traditions and values and customs that are thousands of years old. This is the loss of huge amount of knowledge. Today, knowledge only comes from the West, apparently, and the only knowledge of any good from this part of the world will be tech-enabled, and we should now glorify Alibaba rather than 10,000 years of Chinese civilization. 10,000 years of Chinese civilization is now celebrated as Singles Day the greatest tragedy for China. So that's what tech in my view has done.